So we're installing a new 10 ton heat pump system. We're in a church. I haven't been able to get any footage up until now. It's just been too crazy. I've had a lot of help getting the old one out, getting this one set in place, and then I pretty much take it from there. We had that. We had a sheet metal shop do this, build this for us. The only thing I wish they didn't do was pookie everything like that, but whatever. Specked out to have turning vanes put in here. Nice big box. As you can see, I made them increase it. They wanted to, I made them increase it. To have a bigger box up there. But this is a little different. <laughs> the original unit. This is a zone system. So these, there's a thermostat upstairs, which is the sanctuary. And downstairs is this big room. Here. There's huge dampers up in there. I'll probably try and show you guys that while I'm working on those. But huge rectangle dampers. Both ducts are 40 by 18 outside dimensions. So they're both big enough to handle 10 tons. They don't both open together. It's kind of one or the other. You either send the air upstairs or, or you send it down here. But we're gonna get rid of all this stuff. I'm going to put a more modern system in here. I may need to leave this box to mount a transformer. Yeah. So <laughs> got a lot of wiring to do to kind of gut that whole system and get me into a more modern system. Let's show you guys. This is basically what we took out, except we took out a 15 ton, this is a 10, but you can see how it has two pant legs, uh, two blowers I mean, and that was the same way the old unit was, so that's why we had to have all that sheet metal done. So <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before, but this is how you turn the units on. So I'm going to have to figure out how are we going to get this to work with our new system. So starting from scratch here today, never ever seen one of these things before. This is basically to turn the unit on, I press override circuit. One, two, press uh, whatever we were, select and override unit number, enter, and turns on. So, so I don't know, must, I'm guessing it kind of breaks red through this. I'm not sure, but we'll figure that out. Okay. I, I wish y'all had a load of good dirt out there. You got that old thing. Alright, so we got this figured out. 
Let's see how I can explain this. This is red coming from the condenser, which the condenser had the transformer in it. This is red from the condenser. Ties to red to this thermostat wire. Which came to where you at? Where you at? Which came to here. This wire goes to this side of the contactor. This transformer is to interface with that computer, that old computer that I showed you in that back room. This is what separates the actual unit low voltage load from that computer set of contacts. So when the computer turns the system on, it closes this contactor through this tan and this red wire, which tan Tan and this red wire. Let me put a wire nut on that. So this tan and this red wire closes the contactor, turns the unit on. Now this red is the set of contacts. This is what our actual unit low voltage load is coming through. And that is from this red wire, which we just showed you is 24 volts in, to this orange low voltage wire. So once this wire gets power, it sends wire to this orange, which we came up here. We found the orange here. This is the orange, which goes to this red wire, goes into the conduit. And we found another junction box here. So that's the red wire sending 24 volts to this red. And I'll show you where that goes. That comes in through that junction box down to here, through this junction box into here. And this is it, which powers up. This is a toggle switch that interface the two thermostats. So once this switch had 24 volts from that contactor, the system could come on upstairs or downstairs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wires here. Since we don't we are not going to use that wall switch anymore. And this is where it got confusing cuz you see Let me show you guys. On this switch, they had red, red, tan, yellow, yellow, black, green, green, orange, white, white, blue. But when I look up here, blue is white, orange is green, black is yellow, tan is red, so the colors matched. This is to the sanctuary thermostat. This is from the equipment or to from and to the equipment from 24 volts to equipment here and these are just a whole other system so I'm not worried about these so yeah so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make these color to color from this sanctuary thermostat make these color to color to this lead here which will go to my zone board we're going to do away with all this. This won't be here anymore. I don't know if I'll demo it or just leave it there. Probably demo it. Oh, this is coming. This is the old blower contactor. This is a transformer to run the damper. This is the wire that goes to the damper. <coughs> And what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to make this transformer this one because this was wired <coughs> to this blower relay. So basically these wires were hooked to a 50 amp three-phase breaker, not 
not exactly not exactly the best thing to do. It really should have had its own breaker. So I'm probably just gonna get rid of this transformer. Okay, I'm gonna use this 115 volt one to power up the computer logic. And I'm going to run the damper. I'm, I'm not set on that yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might run the damper off of the outdoor unit because it has two transformers. We can see we got two transformers here. One of these transformers powers up this Reliotel board. The other transfer transformer, all it does is send 24 volts to that air handler for the blower and whatnot. So I might piggyback use that transformer to run my damper. It's a 75 volt damp. It'll be fine. It'll be fine to run my damper. So I may do that, or I may figure something else out. But. Take you back here again. So this is my uh, little logic board. That this is what controls that train, that contactor. And so somehow we went from that tan. I don't know what was it, tan and red or something, to all these yellow wires. But this is circuit two. They just didn't want this little relay to control or have the load of that whole system on it, which makes sense this back so that you guys might no wiring diagram either we had to figure this all out fresh no diagram so my brain hurts now <laughs> I think the blower wheel is probably pretty moldy on that one 